Welcome to the 2014 OC Throwdown. I'm John Mustafa, your head judge for the event. With me today is games athlete JC Nessa, who's gonna help us to demonstrate the movement standards for the event. The first event we're gonna have is the NFL Combine, which consists of six separate movements. We're gonna demonstrate each one separately. JC, if you would get on the bench, please. The first movement is the bench press. For the bench press, the athlete will lay horizontally on the bench. The athlete's shoulder must be in contact with the bench at all times. At the beginning of the movement, the athlete will unrack the barbell, and when the judge says go, the athlete will bring the barbell down to touch the torso, and then bring it right back up to a fully extended position with elbows fully locked out. The athlete will repeat as many unbroken butt bench presses as the athlete can within 45 seconds, at which time the judge will yell time and the athlete will re-rack the barbell. The athlete's score is the total number of unbroken bench presses that the athlete can achieve in that 45 second period. Next up is the three cone drill. For the three cone drill, the athlete will begin at the starting point from a three point stance. At go, the athlete will advance to cone number two, touch the, cone, the line with the right hand, return to the first cone, touch with the right hand again, go outside the second cone, inside the third cone, around and around the second cone, returning to the starting point. If the athlete breaks the plane of a cone, it's a no rep. Next up, the broad jump. For the broad jump, the athlete will start at the starting point, flat footed. The athlete's feet must be parallel. You may not start staggered, you may not start from a step. The athlete will then jump with both feet simultaneously to the terminal point, land and stand. The athlete must stick the terminal point for the rep to count. If there's any movement forward or backwards, it's a no rep. JC, please demonstrate the broad jump. Good. JC, please demonstrate a no rep. No rep. The next movement is the 20 yard shuttle run. For this movement, the athlete will begin at a center cone in a three point stance. Upon the sound go, the athlete will advance to the right to the next cone and touch the line with the right hand. At that point, the athlete will then run to the furthest cone, touch the line and return to the center at which point the movement is complete. JC, please demonstrate the movement. Go! Time. If the athlete fails to touch the line at any point, it's a no rep. For the vertical leap, each athlete will be measured to a distance of 20 inches below the vertical leap apparatus. The athlete then has one minute to attempt as many vertical leaps as the athlete desires. The athlete will begin with both feet on the ground and jump simultaneously to hit the apparatus at the highest point possible. The athlete's result will be that initial 20 inches plus the distance to the marker moved on the apparatus. The final event of the NFL Combine is the 40-yard dash. The athletes will have one attempt to complete a 40-yard run. 